This is a video tour of 2705 Ann Court. And here is a quick view of the front of the home. You've got a 3D composition roof on it, which looks really good. Siding all looks pretty good as well. Two car garage. You can see you've got a bit of a stone retaining wall that's been built in here and it does have a little bit of a lean to it, but not bad. Some cute little landscaping as well as this porch that has enough room for a little seating area in the front. Very cute. Okay. So stepping inside of the property and you walk into just a space where you have several choices. You can come in on the opening directly to my Weft is going to be like a proper seating room. You can see you've got a fireplace in it, so it could be considered a hearth room of sorts. But seating room here. Crankshaft windows here on the front, which are wood cased. And then again, there's that fireplace. Okay. So then directly across from this seating room is going to be the coat closet. So here that is. I want you to notice that some of this, the trims and things in here are this old golden oak, and then some of it's white. So a lot of the trim has been changed in here. The base trim, somebody came in and painted all of this white, but they left a lot of the golden oak as well around all the frames and the windows and doors, and you can see the spindles here. Um, which is probably a way of saving a good chunk of money. So you do have a step down that goes into your living room space. The carpet looks really nice from here. Directly in front of me is an open area dining room. You do have some settling cracks here in the ceiling that are starting to show. Just a couple little ones here and here. Nothing really huge. Okay. And then here is the kitchen space. And kitchen is a little bit small for the property, I would say. Um, you do have Formica countertops. And again, that older golden oak color here. Older appliances as well. But you do have all of the standard kitchen appliances. It looks like they've updated. This is lovely. Okay. Mm hmm so here's your kitchen space. And then let's go ahead and walk down into this living room. The carpet looks very nice, very new. It's a really good space for a living room. Directly behind me is going to be the bathroom here. So here's the half bath for guests. And this is ceramic tile here on the floor and it's going to enter into the laundry room. So they do have a stackable washer and dryer and then some cabinetry storage in here. And again, just another crankshaft window here, that wood casing, just like the front. So coming out of this bathroom and directly across the way is going to be a closet for under stair storage. And then this goes into your garage space. Okay. So here is the two car garage. You can see they've got some storage built in on the side here. And it's cool to have that built in storage. But the interesting thing about this storage is it takes up a lot of your space on this side of the garage. And so now if you were to pull in, you don't have this whole you know, three foot space to this side of the car. So if you're parking two cars in this garage, the second car coming in on this side is not really gonna be able to open the passenger side door if two cars are in the garage as well as that shelving. Okay. Inside. I do want to point out just how bright it is in here. It's because of all these big open windows that this space feels very bright. Um, it's not a particularly bright day today, so love that you're getting a lot of natural light in the space. Stepping out into this yard, one of the things that's been um, definitely a selling point for this property throughout the years, I'm sure, has been this lot. 
you can see it is completely fenced in and it looks like the fence does latch right there and they're kind of piggybacking off of their neighbors which is a bit newer here but you can see it's a good large lot it's very quiet out here that fence lines held up really well the back of the house looks pretty good as well too i'm not seeing any areas of wood rot or anything like that. It all looks pretty clean. So back at the very corner of this backyard, you have a shed that we're gonna go ahead and take a look in. Um, and when I get to the shed, I'm gonna pan over too so you can also see another visual of the yard. So here is the yard from the shed really really big space and it's all pretty flat usable easy to mow it's really a good lot okay so stepping into this shed okay maybe this was more of a chicken coop or something there's a lot of feces in here a lot of looks like maybe i don't know rat feces it's hard to tell um but i would say there's definitely been a lot of critters in here that have left a lot of excrement um, this would need to be cleaned out before you tried to use it for anything else. Something is burrowing underneath it as well. Um, there's an entrance there that you can see, so I don't know if there's anything currently living under there now, but definitely has been at some point. Okay. So now we're going to head back towards the house and go to the upstairs section of the property so you can start seeing some bedrooms. But again, just a really good size lot. If you're looking for outdoor space, for quiet areas, this house really hits that on the head, I think. Okay. So back inside, and now we're gonna go ahead and go upstairs. So back up into that original hallway from the front door and i'm going to turn left to go up the stairs the carpet going upstairs is a different color than the carpet down here you can see it's quite a bit darker so heading up the stairs same um golden oak going up the stairs but you'll notice now that the trim up here is all the golden oak they didn't go with the white trim up here as well i would guess probably for financial reasons because painting trim is pretty labor intensive, expensive. So top of the stairs here and directly to my right, it's gonna be bedroom number one. So here's bedroom number one. Okay. All right, you've got this cute little bench seat in front of this window and it does look like it opens. So a little bit of storage inside that bench seat. That's really cute. Here is a close-up of the roof. And as you can see, all the shingles look pretty good. Pretty even amount of granules, nothing peeling up, anything like that. Okay. So stepping out of this bedroom, we're going to again go to my right. And this is bedroom number two, which is essentially just a mirror of bedroom number one. That same little bench with storage, same closet space. You can tell that the house has been painted several times. Um, things like, you look at this corner, you can see there's pink paint and blue paint. And when you look up towards the ceiling, you can see spots of white. Like the paint really gives itself away in several places. Um, and it's just a bit messy, like it was done in a hurry. Okay. So coming out of this room and we are going to be looking directly into the master from here. But before we hit the master, again to my right is another closet. And so this is linen. And to my left is going to be a bathroom. So you've got vinyl flooring with a Formica countertop and then a bathtub shower insert here. Okay. Um, 
You've got some water damage here on the ceiling or on that vent. So that is signs of water damage there. And then also here on the floor, so you can see just around the edge of this bathtub, all this decolor decoloration and like peeling up, you know, that seems to be probably from a little bit of leakage going on here. Some sort of water again. Okay, so then leaving this bathroom and turning to my left now, we're gonna come into the master. So here is the master bedroom. It's a decent sized master bedroom. I love the inside of the ceiling here, but what I will point out is um, it is discolored. You can see where they came in here and tried to hit it with white paint to cover something, but now that sticks out really bad because the rest of it around it is more like an off-white. Um, so I could say, you know, it could use maybe some cleaning or painting up here, but it does make this room feel a lot bigger with the inset of that ceiling. And again, big crankshaft windows letting in a ton of light from the backyard. You are looking directly at your neighbors though. So if you didn't have curtains or something up in here and your neighbors are sitting in the backyard, they would be able to see directly into your master bedroom. So something to keep in mind. Okay, so you do have a dual sink here in the bathroom. Interesting thing is it is in a carpeted area without its own door enclosure. So, um, that could be something that's a bit tricky if you have a partner that sleeps later than you in the morning and then you're trying to get up and get ready in the bathroom, you might be keeping them awake. Um, closet right here to my right um, is a really, it's a decent sized closet. You know, it's a walk-in, you've got some good hanging space, a couple more spaces for bars and um, some built-in shelving here as well behind the door. Attic access here in this room. And then here is the master bathroom. And you've got vinyl flooring in here. And this is a shower only master bath. So a little bit smaller there. Okay, so that is it. Let us know what you think.